So we all remember the movie Avatar, right? Blue Fern Gully or Pocahontas or Dances with Wolves, depending on who you ask. And the guy gets in the pod thing and he's like controlling a puppet body. The scientists have taken that technology and applied it to monkeys. I'm not joking. Hi, I'm Katie Wayne and this is Animalist News. So back to monkey avatars. A team of scientists at Harvard Medical School connected two adult male rhesus monkeys via a brain to spinal cord prosthesis. They did this by implanting a chip into the brain of one rhesus monkey and then took the second sedated monkey and had 36 electrodes implanted in its spinal cord. The two monkeys were linked via computer, allowing the first monkey to control the movements of the second. The team added that the findings could help lead to implants that can help patients overcome paralysis. And we have a whole video about how that's going to work over on D News today, Katie Wayne. Thank you, Carboni. Get You're out welcome. of my video. I miss you, Katie Wayne. Mm -mm. Nope. I miss you already. Don't. This is absolutely amazing. But how many times did this experiment go wrong in one way or another before they got it right? Rhesus monkeys have a long history in scientific research and have helped humans discover vaccines, sequence the genome, and even test the bounds of space. However, it has been argued that rhesus monkeys possess a sense of self-awareness, which makes using them as test subjects even more controversial. This is complicated stuff. I know that we're all aware that animal testing exists, but how do you guys feel about it? Do you think testing animals in the name of science is right? Let's take this conversation to the comments and learn from one another. I know you guys are smart, so I expect to see an intelligent and civil discussion. First, I disagree with you, and therefore I hate you and everything you stand for. Slander and hatefulness. Be sure to check out these other episodes over here and subscribe right here. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. We have a